Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. expect us to kill something that can do this. They don't. Only the girl holding it. <laughs> Trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? <sighs> So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our Iron Blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant? Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. <sighs> Let this be the end.
Avis. Care to kill some iron blood? Gladly. Wipe it. You focus on the target. Understood. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well? What are you waiting for? Bloody do it then!
Raven! Domino. I know her. Know her? Look around you! Do you think any of these animals care? I need you here! Now the that's done. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return empty handed So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. <laughs> Wyvern! Have you forgotten who plucked you from the front lines? Who trained you? Who gave you a name when you had none? For nothing! No one! And I will not fall by your hand! <laughs> Traitor's blade. This way. Uh, Bloody wind. Well, come on then. Fuck. Fuck. Hugo, dear, my proud desert lion. 
We thought you had taken care when chasing the hare. I expected more from the mighty Titan. We put the Ice Queen on our back. No doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price. My lady, the Thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Jill, is it really you? And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Aye? His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumours that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. For wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. No! Oh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, 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 Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look.
Home sweet home. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nerf. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, so are you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. But, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the San Brequois Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. <sighs> I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why, nothing. Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. 
avenged. My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil twin. Well, oh, bother me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not... Interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. Dominant need to rest. I'll see she's not disturbed. <gasps> he, he's in... Oh, no. Go towards it. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well... Uh... There's old Nan's place. Oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is, then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Blackthorn. What if I am? There's no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. No. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. And the bell sees a square. You want anything else, you bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. <sighs> A word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. I suppose I should thank Goots.
Fancy a mug of Kenneth Coldest when we're done. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. You, blankets, quick as you like. All right, we make them comfortable while the bed's made up. Well, you're just gonna stand there, someone fetch some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? What the hell have I got myself into? <sighs> Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Was Tyre the one looking after Jill? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? 
Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. You got out else? Well, I reckon I can find a buyer. That's all. Why, you're barely a guilty a name. You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. All right. I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. You're all done. Hmm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right.
There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. Well, you want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here to the Holy Capital? Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You're welcome. For that and the shortcut. <laughs> Good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Let's try and stay out of its path. Remember when I said there were deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs in these parts are much better. Any only thing to mention is now. Well, that's the undergrowth sorted. 
I'll take it from here. After you. Thank you kindly. say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Mind your head. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Yeah. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. I'll admit I hadn't counted on that. What is it, boy? At least. knows these woods. Thank you, Togo. Doesn't mean I have to like it. 
Sword sharp. You'd better hope so. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your short. What? Still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a damn sight quicker if you help me. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help Dominance and Bearers. Well, what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind of choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Huh? What did you plan on doing when you find this dominant fight? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. The forest dark enough with day.
See that river? We follow her upstream and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. In no time. Right. Scout. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him. And? They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. But were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? intelligences. If we can capture her... You! Weapons on the ground, Imperials! <sighs> Let's get this over with, then. They're not giant lizards.
Not this time. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria. And one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder... Does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the Creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the One Law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the One Warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, then they'll be sorely disappointed. So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as waymarks. 